Hi and welcome back. Part three of my personal journey with you here. I took you for a little walk in, in the woods, so to speak, reminiscing about my past life, meaning growing up in Germany and uh, going to school here, born and raised. And um, someone just recently asked me, what were your favorite things uh, when you were growing up in terms of, you know, like what did I enjoy in school, but more so what would I do? Um, you know, what, what kind of made me uh, occupy my time with? And I said, that's, that's a good topic to talk about. So um, that's what I'm going to share with you today. And just because I like it so much, I'm going to go back to my teenage bench and sit down and, and have a little chat about it. So as I mentioned, and so, uh, yeah, let me just say, if you haven't watched part one or part two of this uh, video series this week, uh, go back, watch them, and then you will know more about me. And also, if you, if you have a few questions that you would like to ask me, personal questions, you can do that um, still. You can send me a message or you can post something um, down below and I get back, back to it and I'll address it. So what did I enjoy doing? What were I good at? What did I occupy my time with growing up? So as some of you know, um, school for me always ended around one or two o'clock. So there was never, we never had full time school. We only had a half day of school. So parents or moms, I should say, usually stayed home um, in the afternoon and you know we had our hot meal our lunch in the middle of the day and then in the evening we would only have you know slice of bread with you know cold cuts cheeses these kinds of things so this is what i grew up with and so you had the afternoon basically to find something to do and um, so i was really into sports i was athletic i always enjoyed moving movement and it came easy to me so i never had to struggle much to to get my body moving so growing up i uh, did gymnastics and i did swimming and those two i alternated between those two and um, i pursued it on a competitive level so i remember when i was about eight or so um yeah about eight I went to the German um, championships for kids uh, gymnastics. I don't remember the exact title, but it was basically um, a qualification you had to go through and then from, from all of Germany would come together. It was a huge event, as you can imagine, and then they would compete. So and I think in my age uh, range, and it was, I guess, only my year, there were about 800 kids participating, 800 girls, I should say. And I think I came out 245th or so um, on that day. But that doesn't really matter. It was the experience. You know, it was the experience I had um, being at this huge event. And I remember I was quite excited about it. And I was fairly young, I would say eight or nine back then. And uh, swimming, I pursued um, a little bit more competitively even. I, I swam on the regional level um, here and in, in, uh, where I grew up. And I would compete on weekends and so forth. And later on, I joined the German lifeguard. I did all my certifications that um, I had to do. And I was actually very proud that my oldest daughter, who was just shy of eight, is following in my footsteps a little bit there. She just went and had her first uh, certification uh, in Germany. It's called um, the bronze level. And for the bronze level, it's basically you're showing them that you're a good swimmer and uh, that you can uh, deep dive a little bit and so on. And she just recently passed it. And um, so that's what I did at her age and she did it. And um, it was quite... Uh, quite the nice experience. So my afternoons would be filled with gymnastics and would be filled with swimming and I also enjoyed music and as you can still see and, and know if you follow me um, that I'm singing 
in a chorus in Ottawa myself, and I have been singing my entire life being here in Germany in various groups and choirs and choruses. And I still enjoy that. I had piano lessons um, and I'm singing. And this is something that I always liked and always enjoyed. So music and sports were really the two things I was really into as a kid and, and still am. You know, I still like to work out. I still um, like to, to uh, be musical. And I couldn't imagine my life without those two things. Um, it, I feel it's ingrained in my DNA that I, I just have to do it. And we take these things over in our adult life um, that we build up um, growing up. You know, we, we always carry uh, these these things in, with us for some reason. But that's, that's just what I noticed about myself, um, that this is still important to me. Uh, yes, I'm not doing gymnastics anymore like I used to, you know, but working out and we have different options as adults uh, to work our body efficiently and um, and yeah, and singing in the chorus, I still do, I still enjoy, I like performing, you know, I like uh, preparing for performances and rehearsing, that's really my jam, I enjoy it very much and it's a great stress reliever. And this is also what I talk with my clients about all the time. It's like, what brings you joy? What helps you relieve stress? Because life is stressful, right? We all know that. And we need those um, little oases where we basically feel we are not stressed. You know, we feel happy, we feel relaxed, and we feel like um, this is part of who we are and how we want to express ourselves. And that's what's not causing us stress. And that's so important that we have that. And I feel very fortunate that I found what works for me early on in my life and that I still have the opportunity to pursue, pursue these things as I'm getting older. So I hope you liked this little video series I did for you. If there's still some questions uh, that you're curious about me, um, please uh, let me know and uh, I'll get back to you and it might be interesting for others as well so don't be shy to ask and I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope I hear from you soon so if you want to talk to me if you want to attend my uh, stress busters workshop that I'm hosting in Ottawa soon you know just visit my website you find all the details there you can book a call with me if you want to talk about your personal health struggles and we can define a strategy. So there are many ways how you can get in touch with me if you want someone to help you shed light on your situation. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye bye.